like a shadow flame. No kidding. Trade. Oh, <laughs> uh, now I gotta play this imp gang boss. That's okay. We'll play imp gang boss and then we can taunt these up so that we can, uh. Have a taunted up guy. And then go here. This gives him knife juggler juggles, but removes one more direct power from the board and makes sure our imp gang boss is taunted. Imp gang boss being taunted is pretty sweet because it uh, allows the plus two plus two from Melganis to persist. Otherwise, he would just kill Melganis first and then the plus two plus two means nothing. Kiki Lock just subscribed. Thanks for subscribing. A first time. Subscriber to the Bad Cave Team thing, I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for the support. Congratulations on becoming a view bat. Feels good, man. Got that view bat. So many possibilities. What is this nonsense? This is abusive sergeant, yeah? Haha! <laughs> Three imps. Three threes. <laughs> Alright, imps, absorb juggles. Three of the targets, juggles do nothing. They, they affect that one. Don't affect that one. Don't affect that one. Sweet. Alright, so we still have a problem because he has Dr. Boom and we have nothing. Let's be Sylvanas and kill the Dr. Boom. The other option was to Sylvanas and kill other things. <laughs> I don't know. Seems sketchier. Two, four, five damage left on the board. There's a chance we stay alive here and can recover. We're definitely going to need to find that heal bot. We're definitely going to need to find maybe a molten giant. Things like that. It's not looking terrific. It's looking okay, though. Now it's worse. I don't know. You played a lot of stuff that turn. <laughs> AoE doesn't do anything on this board, too, because the eggs... We have a taunt though. You can Shadow Flame take a 4-4 four, four, and taunt up a 4-4. Four, four. I don't know if that's worth That's pretty sketchy. Let none survive. I think we just hope he never activates these eggs. Do I tap? One, two, three, four, five. He's been holding on to this card. It's probably power overwhelming. I think I just play Dr. Boom. If I, if I want to win this game, I think I have to play Dr. Boom. I think I have to. Dead to Doomguard, man. Dead to Doomguard, but we live through power overwhelming sometimes, depending on the merciful gods of the Boombots. So, hopefully he doesn't have a two-card combo to kill us here, and we can swing back somehow. Taunting just is too weak on the board. We'll just get strangled out slowly over time. It's probably power overwhelming in hand, not Doomguard. Tap for the heal, no, no. Sea giant. Okay, now we can Sylvanas Shadow Flame win? Sometimes. 
first things first, we go here, and then double Boombot trade, then Sylvanas trade, then Shadow Flame. How much damage do we have though? 10. We have lethal. Okay, we win. We could clear the entire board and take the Sea Giant too, but lethal's obviously a little better. <laughs> ah, da, 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 da. And chat was all just like, misplay! We gotta take risks, man. Gotta take risks. Sometimes the safest play isn't the best play. I think if we take the safe play, we get just grinded out of the game and lose. We taunt up the Sylvanas there. He plays Sea Giant, trades into the Sylvanas. If we don't take the Sea Giant, we take like an egg or something, the game's over. So. <laughs> Earthen Ring's not worth keeping against Warrior, I don't think. We really want to try and find an AoE in case he's patron, and we want to try and find an Imp Gang boss into like Twilight Drake, into Void Caller shenanigans, so this hand's much better. Still no AoE though, you're going to want to get the AoE. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello AoE, how are you? Brain's not terrible. Let the pain speak to me. Well, that's awkward. I don't really want to give him a lot of cards, but I guess I don't have much of a choice. He's getting two for sure. Get some uh, Beedler draws. Yeah, P.O. is good against Warrior. Uh, you think he's going to play Merlocks? Probably not. Um, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty confident that Gold Chair Footman is the only correct pick there. <laughs> That's just math, right? I mean, all of those minions are pretty worthless. No disrespect to them, but definitely 1-1 one, one was the one we wanted to win there. That guy's the best. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright. Kidding out, Melganis, I guess, is alright. Like, it's actually not the greatest thing in the world, but... I don't know. Minion's super annoying. He's probably gonna impede his development, make it more awkward for him, allow me to get in more taps and we can get towards controlling the board trying to win the game. We definitely need board control to be able to win, which makes this matchup kind of hard. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. How am I killing this? Am I... I think I might just trade. Trade and get Melganis out and then tap. Them free taps. I mean, it's going to get BGHD either now or later, so I mean, it doesn't really matter when. He's already played one Brawl, so I feel pretty okay extending into Brawl. going to go with this guy. 
Sure, Stone Tusk Boar. And just play minions out there to keep making sure I can have fluid taps throughout the game. Because I want to be tapping and tapping and tapping and tapping and tapping and gaining my advantage through card advantage that way. With one brawl gone, feel pretty confident about this extension. Yeah, I mean, that was going to happen either now or later. <laughs> so, not too worried about it. And nothing you can do about that one. Six, nine, go up to ten. Uh, cycle the coil first. Jaraxxus is pretty sweet. Getting that guy down usually wins games. Against Control Warrior. Yeah, gonna try and get Jaraxxus out as soon as possible. So playing it right on turn nine if I can. And, uh... We don't have any taunt givers, which is scary. We do have heal, though. So we could potentially be fine. If he doesn't run Grom in his deck, that's super good for us. But if he, even if he does run Grom, like I don't know, you kind of have to just risk it. Otherwise, the matchup's too hard to win because they outvalue you by the end. And if they're at least warrior, they definitely outvalue you by the end. So we're gonna Jaraxxus here. Who needs this life anyway, right? about as valid of a turn as we're going to get because we have full board control while we're Draxxusing which is sweet. We have removal in our hand in the form of Charger's Portal Coil. Got the power overwhelming to go with it. And then we have one heal. So we're looking to try and find Argus for sure. Which is going to allow us to further win the game. But Alright, he is at least warrior. So we don't want to take any face damage because um, then we can die to like Grom, Cruel Taskmaster and weird things like that so it's important that we just use our removal combos that we developed with our peddlers so that we can make sure that we don't uh, fall below the 10 health threshold ever so we just try and make sure we can clear efficiently with uh, removal. Except on the turn we're healing. On the turn we're healing, we can like face tank something and then heal, you know? Gives us flexibility in that sense, but. I don't want to pull the Doom Guard out, right? Yeah, I'm fine with pulling the Doom Guard out. Okay, we'll just play it then. It's questionable though, because the Doom Guard is one of our removal options, so... Having that pulled out onto the board and not being able to use it for spot removal is kind of sketchy. Dark Bomb Coil this first. No survivors. He runs Armor Smith in his. It's strange. Normally people don't run Armor Smith in their Elise Warlocks. I mean, Elise. Elise Warlock. Elise Warriors. I don't need to play any minions here. I mean, like, he's already got enough that he's got a brawl. If he's. So we're good. Putting up the pressure. Uh oh. Now, if he has uh, Grom, he could potentially lethal us, unless we heal. So now we have to heal bot. Twenty-seven 
And then we have another 3 from Hellfire, so 30. 35 damage next turn, if everything lives. Not bad. Not bad. Siphon own minion doesn't work. Siphoning my own minion does work, but Siphon is my answer to Grom right now. There's no BGH in this deck, so if something weird happens, it's good to have Siphon. Siphon's also a really good way to push through for lethal if he taunts, so I like having Siphon available. Like, if he plays Belcher here, I can Siphon the Belcher and then Hellfire and things like that or whatever, or some weird taunt, you know. Alright, so do we have lethal? We can hit him for 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then another 5 and 3, so 23, 28. We only have 28, he's 30 something. We don't need to taunt unless we want to play around Grom Cruel Taskmaster, which the game's ending in two turns anyway, right? So I think it's fine to play around Grom Cruel Taskmaster. So I'll just taunt anyway, just to punch him in the face harder and play around Grom Cruel Task. His next turn he's dead, like, regardless. Unless he has Brawl BGH or something. I don't know. Alright, now if he has Brawl and Harrison Jones wins, we could lose. <laughs> Alright, if Harrison Jones wins, I guess we could lose. That would suck. Okay. Should have held the Argus. Should have held the Argus. Now he died a Grom Cruel Task if he has it. That is. That is a thing. Oh, well, that's the second Brawl I used, so I might as well play Dr. Boom and trade. Establishing more threats is better than uh, siphoning to push face damage. This the only thing he could have done, and now he has to have Grom Cool Task. Like on top of that, on top of all of that happening, he has to get Grom Cool Task now. There's no way. No, right, he doesn't have it. He's dead. That would have been. I mean, he might still get it in time, actually. He's clearing. Is he clearing this, too? Yeah, double shit slam. He's in it. Let the pain speak to me. Well... I'm not going to play around ground cool task, right? I'm going to save the taunt. I could taunt this turn. He's already BGH'd. He's just used both shield slams. If I want to be ex extra safe. Hmm. I mean, I think we'll win. I'll just play it. One taunt. I think it's fine. He's like out of hard removal. Just gonna weapon it. Now he doesn't have the War Axe up. He needs to have another weapon to equip this turn to be able to still threaten lethal with Grom Cruel Task. He has the second weapon. So he has the ability to threaten lethal. Now he's dead though. Ugh, that was way closer than it should have been.
she taught Chow. And I was scared of the revenge for three, basically chopping it down to no health and then being able to cleanly kill it. Rag three, the climb. The climb. Oh, baby. World's best top decker with four cards in his deck. <laughs> That's world's worst top decker almost, man. Yeah, right. We probably want heal, but Twilight Jake's too slow. We need like Dark Bomb. And then Dark Bombs and Goyles. Hello. Zombie Chows. You look like Rainad, says Puto. Thanks, dude. Just said I look Amazing. Kappa Pride. This is Hamlock with Melganus instead of Giants. No, this is this is an old deck. This is uh this is Demon Demon Lock. It's not a handlock deck. I mean it has two molten giants, but like before Demon Handlock existed, there was a deck called Demon Lock, which is pretty much what this is and then demon handlock came out and everyone switched from demon lock to demon handlock but this was like the pre-step before demon handlock existed this could be tough all right that's not worth dark bombing like a one three is too small of a body we want to save it for things like knife juggler and Gross minions. Don't worry, loves. The cow right, that is that is a bummer. Is this better than Peddler? Yeah, probably Peddler dies pretty easily and doesn't contest anything directly. Demon Handlock. Demon Lock didn't run Giants? What are you talking about? Demon Lock didn't run Giants for like the first month and the second month started running Molten Giants. There was some guy that hit number one like four or five times with double Molten Giant in his deck and then people started doing it. Ah, taunts. In it to win it, boys. We got Lothab, we got Taunt. How do you lose? Silent Storm, yeah, he was the guy. Silent Storm put Moltens in it. Well, no, some other guy put Moltens in it, and then Silent Storm copied the guy that put Moltens in it. I can't remember the guy's name, though. He was like four letters long. He was just some dude that grinded letter a lot. <laughs> I don't think he plays anymore. The guy that invented the original Demon Lock deck. Alright, let's get that down because it's big and get our taunt down. Slow some incoming damage. We need to find our brand for this heal bot. Oh, that is brutal. <laughs> oh, shit. Urshak. Holy crap. I haven't gotten a Twilight Drake Urshak in so long. That is a terrible feeling. Wow, that's just not fun. So many possibilities. I have no time. Don't kill me, please. <laughs> I mean, if he never draws Doomhammer, we could still win. Get in there and fight, Holy shit. And Doomhammer. Oh shit, no Doomhammer. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. 
He's thinking about lava bursting me in the face. I can feel it. Ho oh, ho! Yeah, buddy. Eight eights. Turns out Molten Giant. Pretty good card. dead. Crackle, Lava Burst, Hero Power, and Double Crackle Hero Power. It's all over, man. There's the Lava Burst. There's the other Lava Burst. He chooses not to squeeze in the Hero Power. Interesting decision making there. He's like, nah, I don't need that Hero Power. Yeah. I guess we just do this and siphon the other guy. Okay. And then we get Melganus down next turn and win. We just need him not to draw two damage as Aggro Shaman. Two damage! Don't do it. He's only got four mana to make it happen, so I mean, like, there's odds here that we win. Alright! Easiest game of my life. Haha! <laughs> All he had to do to win that game was like... Lava Burst, Hero Power, and then next turn, Lava Burst, Hero Power again. And then he wins. Alright, I gotta use the, the washroom real quick. I'll queue up, because it's like right next to me. And I'll be right back. Hey, what did you get in here? What's up, Ava? Alright, Drake's probably worth keeping. What? You wanna say hi to the people? Here, go lay down. Go lay down on the couch. We'll see you then. Yeah, there. <laughs> That's Ava. Emperor in this list? Nah, there's no Emperor in this list. We got nothing to combo, really, so... Mm, am I gonna have a minion around a PO? Probably not. It's probably better just to take Argent Squire. It's a solid minion. Take the value bump. Temple Mage with the value plays. Sick. 
Alright, let's see what we find. Blood Imp. We can start Blood Imp train going. Unholy Donuts just resubscribed three months in a row. Welcome back to the Bat Cave team thing. I appreciate you being a view bat, man. Thanks for that. Alright. I guess I'm taking Blood Imp. I missed a sub too. Oh my god. Who did I miss? Let's see. Oh, we're at 150 now. Damn. 150. So many so many view bets out there. I don't know who I missed. It's not in the recent chat. Chat guns too fast for that. I appreciate whoever subbed when I was in the bathroom. Thank you, thank you. I love the support. Feels good, man. Oh, I missed you, Bobo. Alright, thank you, Bobo. I really appreciate it. Resubbing. Bobo has been a long time supporter. Feels good, man. An old view bot. Or bat. View bat. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the view bats. The bats that are viewing. Awesome. Well then. It sucks that that guy's at one health now. I guess I'll just want to load up so we can't get any benefit off this guy. Shit, that's a card you could put in your deck. Or portal. All of these heal bots, man. This thing's gonna land on something. And there's nothing I can do about it. That's gonna be awkward. <laughs> and we're gonna pull blood imp out of this. <laughs> Fire it up. Chops85 just subscribed. Welcome to the Bad Cave Team thing. First time subscriber. How's it going, Chops? I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. How you doing, man? I fight. All right, I guess we're gonna kill this and siphon the other guy. I don't know. Right, we could just kill this guy and leave it up and siphon it eventually when it becomes a problem. Let's tap. Probably wanna play Twilight Drake, honestly. And double trade into the Drake. Get that blood and value going. Boom, 4 8. And then we got the siphon to react whenever he does decide to pop the death rattle himself. Okay, I'll pet you. I'll pet you. Chill. <laughs> now I tap first and look for ways we can clear this. Dark bomb. That's pretty gnarly. My seal for Hunt these bad boys up. Take that trade. Keep my my super imp concealed. Oh yeah, two four. Tasty dog. Oh my god, what is wrong with you, Chad? No. Somebody call Peter. Oh, that's that's shitty. <laughs> That's shitty. Imp just gets wrecked. Okay. Man, where are my molten jazz? Never draw molten in time. Gotta play awkwardly. Now, now we can siphon soul. About time.
Wow, one off from being able to molten with it. I guess we just have to tap. Hopefully not die. He's only got two cards. Odds are we're alive. Odds are. I'm not gonna push my luck with tap in there. I just do this. Okay. <laughs> Secrets pulled out of his deck, and then. Alright. Set up lethal. And healed. Seems good. Hello. One day I'll be a real knight. One day I'll be a real knight. Sick lowly squires, bro. Maybe even keep just Argus here too. I mean, he's Hunter. Argus is good versus Hunter. Going full face on her. He don't even care. Don't even care. All right, I'm gonna go coin peddler. So next turn I can mortal coil and play the one drop off peddler. So it's coin two into two. Sweet. Next turn void walker mortal coil. It's pretty dirty. Easy game, easy life. And then we got the turn three play after that, and then the turn four play. That curve, man. That is a good curve. Doesn't deal with Misha. Well, this one's much better against Misha. Well, I guess they're both the same. One takes two turns to do, though. But we can have the Argus buff it up afterwards, I guess. To then trade into Misha, since we have two Arguses. So I guess I'll go with the Amp King boss. It was tempting not to, though. Hmm. Ow, really? Well then, that quick shot was not good for me. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm gonna take a little bit of damage here. That Misha. Oh man. That guy hurts. Trade. One time. I just want to see it happen. Can it happen? Is it even possible? No. What traps you guys want to play around? There's no way it's not explosive, right? Alright, thank you, game. <laughs> I guess I hold back the zombie chow. I don't think it accomplishes very much. Tackle this one in case of bear. Alright, this explodes. Put these two next to each other because they got the highest like stats. Most likely want to taunt the things with the most stats so they're harder to get through, you know? Got three more heal. Got a decent amount of pressure put up too, this sounds good. Hopefully he doesn't have another silence. My seal for Man, that moment when Hunter realizes they're dead, and they just sit there thinking. Nope, we're dead. He's got the hounds. It's all over. Yeah. And he's killing the giant. I don't know, maybe he can still win. One, two, four, six, ten. Or two damage off. This is going to make it hard for him to win. Yeah, he said well played first, so it's polite. <laughs> Put this apple on your head. Well I can see.
Princess Gul'dan! Your soul shall be mine! I am your nightmare. Alright. Good curve. Just need the three drop. I guess I play Peddler, so next turn I can play the one drop off Peddler plus use Dark Bomb. Void Walker is the most useful, so I'll just make this trade. Probably still worth it. Just like Imp Kang boss is such a problem. It's pretty much always gonna be a problem. We could have killed the 1 1 Imp instead of the 2 1, that would have been better. Whoops. Should have Dark Bomb traded into the 1 1. Yeah, I guess we just tempo out. We don't have AoE clears, we just hope that our Earthen Ring Farseer is able to Ganic trade with some of the minions he plays. Slow him down a little bit. Implosion. Pretty sweet. Well, we might have to just Doom Guard something next turn. <laughs> that might be the play. And then, like, our top decks should outvalue his top decks, so when we get to that zoo sort of tapping and top decking mode, we should be able to come out on top. Huh. That's intense. He's got the demon package in his deck. Let none survive. <laughs> yeah, we could mortal coil. Hope to find something to play. We got a lot of four drops we could potentially play. Good call. Good call. Good call. <sighs> that sucks. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that besides, damn it.
No. Let none survive. You take something good. No, oh, come on! <laughs> come on! Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Wow. You face Daraxus, and an old lord of the Burning Legion. <laughs> well, that was like the only way we lose that game. She. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Man. Okay, we haven't versed too many druids, so I'll put the BGH back in. Oh, our druids started kind of falling out. There, let me... There you go. And it's just... Demon luck. It's kind of like Fibonacci's list. Pretty much the same thing, except I have a Siphon Soul, you didn't have a Siphon Soul. And I have two Imp Gang bosses, he had no Imp Gang bosses. He had like other stuff. Come on, zombie chow. Nah, at least we got better. No Sun Fury. Sometimes I cut an Argus for Sun Fury. I usually only have two taunt givers though. You don't really want to taunt too early because you want to be taking damage anyway so you can get your Molten Giants out. So, most of the time you don't taunt that much. So you don't really need too many talk givers. Unless you're playing against a deck that can burst you down from a lot, then you need a lot of talk givers. Yeah, I'd probably take Voidwalker. Sell out. Drink from the bottle. People complained when I didn't drink from, or when I drank from the bottle, so now we have some. Check it out. We got Leroy Jenkins in cup form. It's beautiful. 
Just beautiful. For when you want to charge and deal six damage to your stomach. Alright. Got him. I don't even know if it was right to play the Voidwalker there. It pretty much just saves me four life. Which I guess I kind of want to take four damage. I do and I don't. I'm not sure. And then we have... Uh... The, like the Nat Pagel cup and the the Nazdormu cup. And they come in a set of four cups. <laughs> well, they're pretty sweet. You can put things in them and drink them. It's cool. What's the fourth one? Oh, the fourth one is the best one. I was saving it for last. The Ragnaros Cup. It's pretty badass. Trading to like try and play around Mortal Coil. Strange. Strange indeed. What if I just go here, Shadow Flame Coil? I don't know. I'm not low enough health total, am I? I don't have reload after it is the sketchy thing. So I guess I just deal with this this turn. Four drop. Four drop every time! Oh, feels good to be lucky. Feels good to be lucky. Put this apple on your head. Um, 50-50 for the game. Oh, we missed. Alright, that's not bad. Next turn we can Molten Giant Taunt. Alright. We can even tap Molten Giant Taunt if we're feeling frisky. Yeah, I mean, why not, right? So much heal in the hand. Hopefully no BGH. <laughs>